Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Alex. Um, just bear with me right now. I'm kind of a little groggy on this uh, medication they gave me. I had an endoscopy, endoscopy done to me. Oh, I had to go back after the forest to, to tomorrow um, to go to see a specialist. I don't know if I'm going to go through it or not. But Bill, uh, excuse me, Rick Norris, I'll be giving you an uh, email, so be expecting that. Uh, okay, guys. <sighs> I got you guys here. You guys are probably asking yourself, Alex, why do you guys, why do you have me here at Lake Clark Pass West and the East, what, seeing the sun with nothing but clouds? What are you trying to show me? Well, what I'm about to show you guys here's your object. And that's your object right here. You guys probably won't believe me or not, but much what I'm about to show you is gonna probably uh, change your guys' mind. I've been looking at this for a long time, like I said, since, since 2015. I've been seeing these photographs, these uh, these uh, webcams, and taking a look at some other things, taking a look at things, you actually get to see things, and you'll be like, wow, that wasn't there for before. Now I'm starting to see this there, so let me show you guys what I'm talking about. What I want you guys to do is pay attention to the reflection on the water. There's your object. There's your sun. There, there, there. Reason why I know there's an object following the sun and the moon is because I got this from Sherry out there in Southern California. Shout out Sherry. Had a conversation with her today too, and a pretty good conversation. You know, just a quick one, just to explain what she saw, what she was seeing, and letting me know about some emails and photographs that she was trying to send to me. That I guess. Uh, I'm not receiving. Uh, I don't know what this is right here, but I know it's an object. You know, like I told you guys, I don't like doing brightness and contrast. But when I do brightness and contrast one on my own, it's for me to actually see if an object is there. For me to show you guys, if there's an object worth of showing you guys, then I'll show you guys. Let me explain to you guys what I did. I took this rectangle on paint.net. You put it over and you select the part that you want and you do brightness and contrast. I learned this from... Um, Marshall Masters. When you do gamma ray, if anything's there, bright as the sun will stay there. That's like sure enough what happened. And look, you get a hole right here, like another object or something in there. But this is what you get, and it's not connected to the moon. That's the moon. That's not the sun. That's the moon. And I want to give a shout out to Kim. She was on her way to Cayman. I think she was on her way back from Cayman Islands, which is her home. She lives in Iowa. She caught this with her naked eye, and she wanted her. Uh, her uh, she wanted me to explain because I'm her, so her subscribe. My sus I mean, she was telling them about. She was my subscribers, and she was letting me. Um, uh, letting me know uh, what was going on. Uh, oh, in the sky, actually letting them know what was going on. Sorry, guys, I'm not here right now because of my uh, the grogginess. She was explaining them. What was going on in the sky, and they're asking her where was she's hearing this from, and I believe she told them me, and some of them subscribed, and she saw me. They saw my, they saw my channel, and they kind of agree what I was talking about, because they saw this as translucent. They didn't see it as a rainbow. We see it as translucent because the sun passes by it. We get the prism effect. But as I could tell you guys, distinctive line everywhere. You know what I'm going to show you guys again is I just cropped it out so I could show you guys, and just did a little. You can see it right here. Distinctive line. It's not a planet. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. And you can see our overlapping lens that me and Jeff P talk about. One, two, three. See the move? One, two, three. They're there, guys. Then this is an object. The brightness and contrast. You can see a tail or something come back. This is a this is an object too. Let me show you guys. Some of you guys seen this before. I've seen this. I think in 2016, in late 2016 and early 2017. I think the astronomer or amateur astronomer who caught it was Mark Anthony Reed out there in Australia. Now let me show you this right here. This has one, two, three, four five even possible six objects it's a huge object and there's something else right here that has light source that's following it i don't know what it is guys but it's huge 
and this actually looks like it could be another object too but don't know i haven't did brightness and contrast in the whole thing and i don't feel like doing it like i said i didn't even want to do it to this but i wanted you guys to actually see that this was an actual object it's not a lens flare those two objects are not a lens flare then this was in russia and this was on the first i took this from a webcam reason why I'm showing you this is a lens flare I believe do your own judgment whatever if you guys want but what I'm trying to show you guys is the two objects right here that are following the Sun all the time that we see I see in the FFA webcam and I feel like I'm starting to get sick now uh, and I got this from a subscriber saying I don't know if this is a I believe this to be actual lens flare because I get the you see the dome that we get from it that's what I call it breaks up right here you can see the dome breaks up right here it goes around but these are the main two things I'm really uh, worried about curious because you got the same things that you see at the FF webcam and this is an actual photograph from the ground not a, a, a webcam so this kind of validates already what we were talking about seeing two objects following the Sun and what we're seeing in the bloom sky that follow the Sun you see it turn uh, this one turned blue and this one red then you got these the rose petal effects that we see all the time and your Sun dog but this isn't part of the rose petal effect this is a like a purplish color don't know what it is you guys got me on that one the subscriber told me that they see this but it's an actual lens flare it's not an object this is over there in germany guys this is taken on the 30th of the, on the 18th of june you see the sun drop down okay this is the sun sunset this is the same day 30th on the east look at the shadow of the sun see the see the shadow of the sun you can't have another sun rise on the east as the sun dropping on the on the west look how huge that object it even takes over from about right here whatever that is guys it's huge it's a big light source and there is and it is rising in the east my my only uh, two opinions is it's gonna probably be our blue kachina so secondly it could probably be the only reason why we're seeing all these big old light sources in the in the east right now and why we're seeing it probably in the west is because all the planets are aligning and we're actually getting all the moons of these planets together so get them all together you get bright light right so i don't know that could be a reason just think about it they had a subscriber give me this because they saw it on another channel asking me if this was another object no this is a refraction of what we're seeing in this the reason why is because you see this it's coming from all right here and it comes in from right here and you can see the other you can see it right here so this is the actual refraction of this right here so it's not an, a two objects and then you got your two lens flare right here you got another one here and there like I've been trying to tell everybody but no one wants to listen it's okay then you got two objects this was so taken by um, Sherry again sorry guys I feel like I'm getting sick and then I got this from a subscriber mark mark gave me this because he said that uh, he gave this to uh, another planet X researcher and he said he saw it on his on a recent video and he said he gave it this to the planet X researcher on January 1st and if you don't believe me let me take a look at it 1 1 2018 so he said that he doesn't know why he showed it on a recent video he just wanted me to bring it to everyone's attention and if you guys start seeing this in another video it's an old it's an old photograph and then you got this again right here the reason why I have you here because this is your uh, lens flare uh, you got your uh, uh, lens array right here and another one showing up right here on the side remember distinctive line you can barely make it out but distinctive line it's your lens flare two o'clock position and you got your sun dog, but I really don't think this is a sun dog. I actually think this is an object following the sun. I think that's that's our our Nibiru ship. And we're back right here. And I say I just wanted to share you guys with this because I'm not feeling good. But when I started getting these photographs and seeing these, I just thought it was amazing. Oh, I also want to share with you guys one more thing. <clears throat> Did you guys know that right here in the Book of Jasher? I'll leave the the link right here. And uh, description on this chapter I believe it's 8 chap uh, chapter 8 verse 10 did you guys know that this is where they actually saw Nibiru our planet Nemesis planet X come in 
Let me read you guys a verse, okay? And when they, thy servants, went out from thy house of Terah to go to our respective homes and to abide there for the night, we lifted our eyes to the heavens. We saw a great star coming from the east. And the same star ran with a great speed and swallowed up four stars. A great, swallowed up four great stars from the four sides of the heavens. That's north, south, east, and west. And you know what that really means? That means that's the sign of, or that's actually that's the time. That's the time when our asteroid belt was made. Remember, the Egyptians saw this. We didn't. They did. And all the moons and planets were already uh, named. So. This is where we saw our. Uh, this is where we they saw our asteroid about being made. It was a great star that came in. Remember, before I go, guys. So I'll tell you guys, I love you guys. Make a prayer for you guys before I go. God in heaven, I ask you to look after my subscribers. Find look into their hearts help them find their will to give your message out to help them open up people's eyes to get them closer to you help them see your way to see the to see the way the way that way it's supposed to be help them to see discernment help them guide them to the right with to the right light help them see what's really real what's really fake out there i just ask you to look after them take care of them ask and pray and give them what they need oh i ask you in all in your name Amen. God bless you guys. I love you.